Hello, you glad to have you back to see all your smiling faces. If you haven't been here before, I'm Bobby Jean. We have what you call a situation. As you can see, I was in the process of clearing out the RV, prepping it for sale. Good old Florida always comes in just in time with another hurricane. The plan up till now was to finish cleaning this up and get it ready to be sold, put it in storage, move it to my temporary apartment, buy a little house, and down the road, another RV. Good old Florida. A little stressful. I'm gonna work the problem. The storage place I was gonna put the RV in is outside. I figured it'd be okay because this will probably sell pretty quick. Well, the problem is we're, we're ground zero for the hurricane, for this hurricane now to make landfall. I happen to be right here. The RV storage place is right there. Right on the Indian River, which will probably crest and flood that area. Trees on the hurricane side the only way I'm going to be able to protect the RV is I'm going to have to evacuate. It's going to go right up the middle, take a turn to the north. They don't know yet exactly which way it will go from there. And if it continues to come up behind me, I'll just continue north and maybe break west because they rarely go west once they go north of Florida. So, got family up in North Florida almost to the Tennessee line. Probably going to head that way. So, unexpected journey. If I wait too long, Traffic's gonna be terrible. Hit the road. RV park's gonna be packed. So I gotta get moving. Skies don't look too bad right now. A few days, different story. Nice place, nice campground. Looks like I got a nice spot. how easy it is to set this up once you arrive at camp. Just had a much needed shower and gonna head into town here and see what we find to eat.
so good. Everything was great. Wow, this place is great. The weather is so nice right now. There's like zero humidity. It's probably like, like 75, 78 degrees. Wow, what a change from where I just left from yesterday. This is one of their fishing ponds. It's supposed to be catfish, bluegill, and some bass in there. Okay, so here we are in Lake City, Florida. Uh, we're pretty close to the Georgia state line. And the storm is, the, the landfall is still predicted at the same location. Maybe taking a bend to the north, going right up in the middle of Florida. So I'm going to continue from here heading north. Probably head to my cousin's house up in near, near Cleveland, Georgia. By then it might curve back out to the Atlantic Ocean or it could curve back into the Gulf. So I'll play it by ear. So we're going to pack up and we're going to head, probably stop off in Perry. Stay the night there and then tomorrow head on, head on up to uh, go around Atlanta and head on up to Cleveland. So here I sit waiting to get gas because everybody parks their car here at the pump and goes in and gets something to eat, goes to the bathroom, milling, milling about in the store. Yay, we finally got gas. They finally came out with their bags of food and drinks and everything and the way they looked at me, I think they realized, oh, we've really been keeping this guy waiting a long time. So. TPMS says I've lost signal to my transmitter underneath the RV. To pull over and check it out. set up hey we're set up Did you miss me no effort at all Get some lights going in here a little warm out but it, this place is beautiful okay moving right along I'm gonna go over to my cousin's house in Cleveland Georgia it's northeast of Atlanta it was fun going through Atlanta today holiday weekend the storm looks like it's turning to the north a little bit, so it may just graze the coast. Okay. This is uh, Mount Yona behind me. It's about a mile from Cousin house. And this is the Mount Yona Winery. It doesn't look like hurricane weather. Oh, so this is... When I'm here visiting, I occupy this whole lower level. You kind of walk in in the front and onto the second floor love the pool area it's so peaceful here there's so many birds out here hummingbirds are everywhere the pool color i love that lagoon kind of blue see driveway entrance there the street goes on around to a cul-de-sac and nobody else lives there and you might be able to see that's where i have the rv parked right through there Ah, such a peaceful place.
And here's my beautiful cousin Dima. <laughs> well, now as we are situated here is basically just a watch and wait game. It looks like for the most part, the state of Florida has dodged a bullet. The hurricane's deadly eye wall is staying off the coast, the east coast of Florida, and continuing to travel north now. Uh, so the worst part is over the water. There are still hurricane effects being felt on the east coast. However, not as uh, bad as it could have been as long as it stays out over the water. Looking at the computer, we can see the, the new predicted path as Hurricane Dorian has turned north now and is tracking off the east coast of Florida. Uh, it, it has picked up speed and strengthened a bit. Um, where it goes from here, we'll see. It look, looks like it's going to continue tracking north off the coast but coming close to land somewhere around the Carolinas. Meanwhile, I'll continue to hang out here in the beautiful Cleveland, Georgia area, up here in the Georgia mountains, uh, and enjoying Cousin Tina and Brad and our fun activities uh, and their hospitality. So we will check back in as this progresses. Stay safe. Thanks for watching.